Hi, I'm Hyunji, and in today's video, I'll be performing Schroeder's Opus 48, number 7 etude. This is a great etude for students that want to work on both their right and left hand technique. After, I'll be sharing a couple tips that you can use to get started learning this etude yourself. When you first start, I would recommend um, no vibrato in the left hand and putting a stop in the bow after each note. For example, um, I would start the beginning with the first note, stop the bow, then move the bow over to the G string. And as you change your bow to the G string, not only do you have to adjust the level of your elbow because you're going to a higher string, but think about changing the bow angle to fit the G string. And then you're going to prepare your left hand, stop your bow. In the time that the bow is stopped, you're going to prepare your left hand with the next note. And you're going to try to bridge as much as possible. So when I do the fourth note, I'm going to try to keep my fourth finger down until I get my second finger down on the D. And then bridge it as, bridge the second finger as I go to the A string, and then keep the second finger down and I come back. So I would go through the rest of the piece like that in that slow manner. And as you get faster, naturally the stops um, in between every bow stroke will get shorter. So you'll end up But the reason you go slow is to give your left hand a chance to learn the notes. If the left hand doesn't know the notes comfortably, you won't be able to navigate the bow comfortably as well. So it's really important for etudes that you give your left hand time to really know where it's going so you can add the bow hand. The next thing, when you get faster, as you give a little bite with your second finger for the staccato, you'll feel that the bow naturally wants to bounce up. You're going to try to keep that motion as even as possible and you'll end up with a slight staccato bow stroke. I recommend keeping the bow stroke at the um, balance point of your bow, the point of the bow where it's most balanced because that spiccato will want to speak the most easiest and bounce the most naturally. Um, as you are practicing some of the extensions and shifts, you want to keep your thumb really loose as you extend. If your thumb is tight, all of the other fingers will want to close and you won't be able to stretch out. So as you're doing the extension backwards or the extension forward, make sure to keep your thumb nice and relaxed, uh, still touching the neck so your hand is still balanced. And when you extend forward, I would also use that left elbow to kind of swing and get me to the extension without straining the finger. When you are practicing some of the arpeggio uh, patterns, for example, in the last line, uh, measure 61, you have that F major arpeggio going um, upward. I would repeat that arpeggio just a couple of times so my hand gets used to this shape of um, getting that arpeggio. So and when 
when you're reaching for the lower strings, try not to let just your finger do it because you see if only my finger reaches, the angle of the fourth finger goes more upward when you want it to go parallel. So to reach the notes on the lower strings, you want to use your elbow to help you get there parallel. And if you use your elbow, you're also able to maintain that really nice C shape in your left hand. Um, so you have that power you need to um, put weight into the C string. If you have any questions or you need some suggestions on fingerings, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to um, help you out with fingerings or send you um, a copy of the sheet music with the fingerings that I use to perform this etude. If anything in this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to stay notified about the next video. Thank you for watching.